Hey everybody, Hakaius here, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Cloud on the Moon. Uh, uh, before we go back to the to the factory and start rebuilding things and uh, replenish our supplies after I've done a little bit of grinding here, I wanted to show you uh, what it looks like when everybody drops jumps off of this platform. And you do, for some reason, jump off of the platform and go down uh, both directions, going to the back room and to the front room. So, uh, we'll just show you what it looks like first for Tone, slash Achaeus. There he goes. One of the few times he actually makes a sound. Oops. I meant to show you a different character, but we'll watch Tone again. And I think I already showed you Xiao, so we'll... Nope, we're gonna save Goro for last. Uh, we'll do Ruby next. And she can fly. So I'm not sure what her deal is. Um, everybody looks like they just, like, died. They're fine. Everything's cool. Test your courage. And Gaga, of course, has plenty of courage. Oh, jeez. And... Goro is hands down my favorite, so this is what Goro looks like when he jumps off. <laughs> just, he sounds excited instead of terrified. It's awesome. Alright, moving on. Let's get on out of here. I used up uh, all of my repair powder. I used all of my uh, revival powders. We will use the gunpowder here, but I did get a bunch of levels on several weapons. Cannot be used. Cannon, cannon can be used now. Not cannon can't be used now or cannot be used now. Boom! There we go. Goodbye. And let's leave the dungeon temporarily. Let's see if the shop here has what we need. Need more. Uh, well, pretty much all kinds of powder, basically. Can't run fast. Can't teleport. What a joke. And the shop's over here. Kind of a pain to get around here after not having to do all that this entire time. Oh no, this is not the shop. This is... Uh, I can do check-ins here. Which means I can get some items out of here now that I've used a whole bunch. did that at least and I tried to select run again select move again it did not work again surprise surprise so this is that's how we got to the moon that would lead us out of the moon I guess maybe onto the moon ship so this should be the shop then This is not the shop. I am missing something. It honestly might be faster to teleport to another area and borrow their shop. Oh, here it is. This has got to be it. I thought there was four paths, but there were five. Off of the main area there. 
High and yellow drops, but the boss completely disregarded it to build a high-tech factory. I wonder if it was the right thing to do. Do you really want to get rid of something? Rid of the old to create something new? This is also not the shop, so there must be six anti-freeze amulet. Have you ever seen the bravery launch? It's a cursed board that makes you want to jump off when you step on it. I'm not that stupid. I'll never get on it. Well, I did a whole bunch of times. It wasn't so bad. Alright, forget it. Uh, we'll go to Muscalaca and talk to the shop there. Or to the shopkeep, Brook, of course. Not to the shop. Hello, shop! Give me things. I gotta remember where I put Brook's house when I was rearranging the entire world. So what do I not need? You steal a lot of potato pancakes from those guys, which is, of course, worth a lot of Gilda. chest keys. You're worth 400 gilda. Nice. Alright. Yep. And I do need a couple revival powders. I need uh, a couple st more stand-in powders. And a whole bunch of repair powders. Oh, and I might as well buy a gold bullion log here. And let's repair everybody's weapon. Well, we can repair them as we go, I guess. Yours definitely needs to be repaired, though. Alright. I think we're ready to go back into the moon. Into the moon sea. Might as well save before we do that. Don't want to waste all that grinding, right? Right. I'm getting better about it. Promise. Well, I guess I was going to say the next game I play probably will have an autosave, but it's going to be an older game. Next game, of course, if you haven't heard, is going to be Final Fantasy Tactics. So I have no idea if that has an autosave feature on it or not. Alright, so up here to the Moon Sea. And we'll do uh, two or three levels. Two or three craters, sets of craters. Um, and then we'll go back and see what happens when we want to build in the factory. What have we got here? Burn. Well, I don't know what the heck that thing over there is, but it... Oh, it's a space guy in. And he's wearing scuba gear. What? Why is a fish wearing scuba gear? Exactly, Steve. No, a better question. Why is a fish wearing scuba gear on the moon? Yes, exactly. Steve, can he breathe in that thing? Don't think we can eat him even if we grill him. Did you stop? Space Gaians can turn. Yes, I can smell in space. You're breathing, aren't you? You know, I got hit by lightning once. I really thought I was going to die. Oh, he gets to swim something, something, something. I'm trying to level up. Uh, what's his face here? I'm trying to level up his weapon. Fireballs! One of the things that, uh, what's-his-face here has got going on is he's got super good reach. Um, Gaga, I want to level up his weapon so he's not quite so useless if I get stuck with him on a level. 
an Eevee. And I managed to level up. Uh, by the way, the Mirage is a weapon that we did get from the Chief for completing all of the village parts FTR. Um, so I'm trying to level up a Scorpion enough to put it on the Mirage and actually have a strong weapon. He can hit behind him when he hits swings that first time. Monsters pumped with energy. That's... That is not at all what we wanted. Found the gunpowder. And bread. Nikaius gets a ladder. Ladders are important. It's true. When you're in a factory, you need ladders to ladder things. Space guy in. Ah, I outrange you, Mr. Space Guy, and what now? There we go. But it takes forever to kill you because this weapon is not very powerful. And unfortunately, the poison is not going off as often as I'd like. The proc rate on that poison is not very high. But that's okay. We get it sorted. Maybe when we put it on the Mirage, it'll be better. Oh, that's right. Space Gaian was supercharged. That's why he was taking so long to die. There we go. And let's let Achaeus do his thing here. Finger... Acquired. And a second floor. And... A magical crystal. Oh, well that didn't work at all, did it? Oh crap! That was close. All right. Um, what are we using? Fire. Mm, and I had a whole bunch of ice in there, right? So we'll put that on there, just because. What else the heck? What else are we gonna do, right? All right. And eat some bread, so maybe you don't insta die. Ugh. Bug rolled me over. Oh, that's right. Don't attack moon bugs with your heroes who take damage based on that kind of thing. Bomb acquired. I think it's a metal bug, so let's throw a bomb at it. And see if we can get a metal breaker. Ooh. That did not feel good. And a map! Maps are good. I tell you where things are. Space guy in. Thanks for the soap. No! Ruby. Good thing we have more stand in powder. There you go. No more space guy in. Flapping fish acquired. Well, that's interesting. Can't even use that here. Alright. Big, small, big, small. We're gonna take a small box this time. We got a prickly. How useless. And another bravery launch. I'm gonna save that and set myself up to grind again later. And there goes Mr. Pockle. This hammer is powerful. Goro doesn't need any help leveling his weapons, let me tell you. Uh, but Ruby and Ngaga probably do. So let's work on that, shall we? Oh, okay. Hi, Witch Helza. Ngaga is nearly destroyed. 
Uh, let's work on Xiao stuff. Poisonous apple acquired. There you go. Can you breathe in that thing? Good question. He smells good like soap. That's because he dropped soap. Which hell's a hold still? Alright, there you go. Let's go ahead and. Well, let's use one revive powder, I suppose. Because I might need to put the other one on Kaya, so we'll do it on Ruby. Elephant emblem. That's very nice. If you don't have an elephant emblem, are you even in a factory? This is an important question that no one has answered for me. Alright. Uh, gunpowder. Cannon can be used now. Fire the cannon. Fire the cannon! But I am really tired! Then take a little nap, then fire the cannon! A little old. Old meme reference for you. Alright. You get thirsty quicker. Well, there's water over here, so that's fine. I'm thinking we got some mimics going on over here. What do you guys think? Not this one. Magical crystal. Not this one. A map. Shows that there is more water down there. And there's the mimic. Alright. That gives me repair powder, which is awesome, but... Whoa, it scared me. There it goes. I was deceived. And we better repair this, huh? Don't want to break Steve plus eight. We got here. We got a hell pockle. It's a good thing for Hakaius or Ngaga to fight, but Ngaga's sitting this one out. So Hakaius, it is. Moonbug goes bye-bye. Bye-bye, Moonbug. And Mimic, of course. Get plenty of repair powder. This would actually probably be a good floor to do that grinding on. Well, except for the whole thirst thing. But the Mimics and being able to steal the repair powder means... Uh, you know, basically I can grind for as long as I want. Ice, ice, baby. Space guy and soap acquired. You just stand right there and take it, my friend. That's a good fishy. powder stolen at the last second. All right, get some water. Excellent. And let's go. Open this chest. Open this atla. It's not a chest. It's an atla. Eagle feather acquired. Well, what the heck kind of factory is this, you guys? It's got some scientific or uh, technology sounding parts in it, but it's also got an elephant emblem. It's got an eagle feather. I don't even know. 
All right, so we got another hell pockle, but first we're gonna open an atla because the attack button and the open atla button are the same button. Parts AML, so that sounds fancy. All right, there he goes, and he's got my gunpowder. Another elephant emblem. So you got two elephant emblems for our factory. Ammonite. I don't know what that is. Spine of shell. I have no idea what's going on. Alright, come on. Good night, Mr. Hellpockle. Let's swap out Hakaya so he doesn't get too thirsty. Parts HGR. Uh, Goro can handle this. Bye bye, Mimic. Actually, let's let Ruby handle these things, shall we? She needs the level ups. Hair powder acquired. All right, one more. Oh, this one's a real chest. And it's got cheese! Moon bug. One of the cool things about the magic is that, um... It actually stops enemies in their tracks. Oh, he's weak to ice, too. Good to know. Alright, alright, I'll repair it. So you see the thing is rolling at us, we use the magic on it, it stops. It's pretty nice to have. I noticed the same thing when I was working on the moon diggers. Uh, well, I was grinding before. Getting thirsty. Alright, he's down. Alright, let's get Hakaias back in here. Mammoth Tusk. Alright, let's go, Xiao. Run us home. Well, to the next... The next... Uh, area. Cannon can be used now. I, I keep reading that cannot be used now, and I get very confused. Xiao's very excited to ride in the cannon. Look at her. She's all like, Wee, this is fun! Uh, you know what? Let's leave the dungeon temporarily. We'll do a shorter episode today. Got some other stuff I need to take care of anyway. And we did a long episode last time, so... Mix it up with a shorter episode this time. Let's go... Into the factory and start rebuilding, shall we? If we can. I have no idea if the pieces we have will allow for rebuilding of anything right now. None of it makes any sense to me. Alright. So here's our factory with all the stuff. Giorama menu explains why <laughs> the factory looks so empty. So we got various parts of things here. Um, it kind of look foot right. Um, hand something right. Um, arm left, arm right maybe. So this is the head. So what we've got here is it looks like we're building a robot. I'm not sure why we need the factory for this, but, you know. Alright, so we need... I uh, can't see anything without this. Goes between the shoulders. Um, I don't... None of this looks like it goes there. Does it? Okay, well, let's go here. Alright, so we can make an elephant emblem right there. And then you got a tusk. It goes there. And then you got a finger, which is actually a hand... Um, and then you got a twisty swirl. Is that ammonite? Yes. And then you got a twisted horn. And, um, yeah, boom. 
There that goes. And it does have an undead buster under it. And it just kind of floats in the air there. So, rebuilding this stuff doesn't look like it's going to accomplish a whole lot for us. And that's all I can rebuild on that for now. And then the, this is... Urn. I don't have uh, modeled after the head of a flying animal. It looks like an eagle head or something. A um, little eccentric. Oh, so that's where a pilot goes, I think. Um... Doing anything else there. This needs a ladder. And it needs a second floor. And then it needs another ladder. And yeah, that's all the rebuilding we can do. So rebuilding this is not going to be like a really story intensive thing. Oh, there's how it looks like an elephant. Um, uh, it's going to be interesting. It looks like we're building some sort of mech. So that'll be interesting. I'm not sure if that means we will be using the mech or somebody will be using the mech for us or what exactly. Let's see if there's any other chests to pick up in here. Doesn't look like it. I could put the other parts down, I suppose. And see it's a head. Or at least part of a head. Yep, there's that. Doesn't really matter in what order they go now. Foot and a lookout. All right, so we can real quick look around, see if we find any chests on the ground. Here's one. Should be easy to find the chests at least. There's a gourd, an attack plus two, and a ladder. up here all right and but we'll need another ladder all right so uh, i guess today is going to be kind of a super short episode um i really want to do a bit more grinding before i continue on i really want to level up umgaga and uh what's her face I'll level up their weapons a bit so we're gonna put that off for now and we'll come back after i ground grinded what is the past term past tense of grind when you're speaking of gaining experience in a RPG. I don't know. Uh, but after I come back some more, uh, do that. We'll come back next time. We'll go explore more floors, do all that good stuff. You know, it'll be fun. It'll be interesting. I don't know. Uh, yep, uh, we're going to call it a day there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.